All right, we got 18 days until Election Day. I'm counting it down. We're all counting it down. <laughs> You're going to be voting for a new Maricopa County recorder. Uh, Stephen Richard, the Republican, remember he lost to Justin Heap in the primary. So Justin Heap is the Republican, uh, and he is going to go against uh, the Democrat, Tim Stringham. And Tim joins us in studio. Tim, how are you, man? I'm good. Thanks for having me here. Why in the world do you want this job? My goodness. And I'll say it like this, from what Richard has been telling us and what we've been seeing, death threats, emails, just absolute, just vile, nasty emails, uh, insane, disgruntled voters threatening lives. Um, you know, you're gonna, you're if you win, you're gonna, you're gonna need some, some, some protection for you and your family. Why do you want this job? Uh, yeah, you weren't lying. You started with a tough question. Um, I, I think you're crazy if you go into politics, but I think you're crazy if you leave politics to the kind of people who are in politics. Mm. And it's not just Stephen Richer. It's tough right now if you're a poll worker. And, Absolutely. And when we were deciding whether or not to run, we went and talked to people who worked in the elections department. We talked to poll workers and we talked to, of course, Stephen Richer. And a lot of those people are concerned about their safety and a lot of those people don't necessarily get protection. And I am somebody who really, truly takes pride in the fact that when my country wanted me to, I went and served overseas in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And now there are people in my community who don't feel safe, even though they're trying to do something great, which is affect democracy for all of us. And on November 5th, I'm very confident that I'm going to win, but I'm also very aware that there are going to be people in the tabulation center and there's a likelihood that there are going to be people protesting outside. Mm. And there are going to be people working at polls that day who don't feel safe. And if there are people in my community trying to do a really great job for everybody and they don't feel safe, those are the people that I think I would be most proud to work with. You've been in worse places. You've been in Afghanistan. How long did you serve there? One year, 2012. One year. I'm sure you saw a lot. And you're looking at this and saying, if I can do Afghanistan, I can do this, right? You know, it's it's actually very different. The thing about going to war is you're counting down the days. Mm. And you know that you're going to go s safely back home. And you know that at some point you're going to go back home to Arizona and you're going to have mountain lakes to go swim in and big mountains to go hiking in. And you're going to have the desert and you're going to have home, you know, and you'll be standing in the grocery food store at some point, you know. and It's and normal again. At, yeah, you'll have normalcy. You'll have all the food that you don't have while you're in Afghanistan. There's something chilling about knowing that we are home and that we don't feel safe. Interesting. Tim Stringham is with us. He's uh, running for county recorder here in Maricopa County. Um, and, and, Tim, it, you know, it, just listening to you say that, it, I almost got a little chills, and I don't want to overstate it, but you're, we have county uh, uh, supervisors who are leaving office because of the abuse and the threats and the security issue to their family that they faced. You have Stephen Richer who has faced all this, and, and you're kind of walking into the line of fire, so to speak, and I don't want to over-dramatize it. I mean, this is not Afghanistan, um, but it's kind of amazing that you're doing that. And, and you're running against a guy named, uh, named Justin Heap who is, uh, and this Tim Stringham is with us, but this is a guy who's an election denier he's a conspiracy theorist people know this is uh, i can't i can't stand this stuff but he's somebody who literally has introduced and backed legislation in the arizona legislature uh to to get rid of mail-in ballots that we've done in arizona for 32 years to get rid of early voting he wants everybody to vote only on election day he wants us to count every vote on election day this year it's two pages of, of votes it's not even possible how is i mean when you hear that what does that make you what does that make you think about you know, I'd like to back up even at the start of that question, the election denial question. I don't even know if that's true. He has said publicly that he thinks Stephen Richer's a liar. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. He didn't show up to either debate. Uh, debate. He doesn't do interviews. If you're going to call somebody a liar, explain that. Yeah. That's a pretty loaded accusation. If you're going to go ahead and question somebody's integrity, you need to be specific. You need to be ready to back that up. And I've been running against this guy for a year, and I still don't know what the hell he's talking about. Hmm. You make a good point. He hasn't shown up for debates. He doesn't show up. We've invited him to come on here, by the way. He's, he hasn't responded to us. Uh, but he's a guy who's he's a conspiracy theorist. He's an election denier. What would that do to Arizona and Maricopa County if we get rid of early voting? If we And that's what he wants to do. I mean, let's be clear. This isn't theoretical. He has introduced legislation to ban mail-in ballots and early voting in Arizona. Yeah, mail-in ballots are very personal to me because I have only had the opportunity until this year to vote once in person. I voted in person in 2008. I voted early in person now. In between, I have voted by mail from Afghanistan, from Korea, from Hawaii, and from the United Kingdom. Now, I am very fortunate, right, in that during that period of time, I was protected by federal legislation because I was a member of the armed forces. But 
not being at home when the election happens, that is not unique to people who are in the military. We have a huge aviation industry here in the Valley. We have people who are flight attendants who get calls at two o'clock in the morning because they're on standby. Hey, you got to take a flight and fly out of the state. Yeah. But they it's don't. more than that, though. We have old people who struggle to get to the polls and can't stand in line. Absolutely. We have people who are just busy with work and kids and school, and they have the ability. We've been doing it here for 32 years without issue. They have the ability to vote and have their voice heard in our elections. Why would anyone want to stop that? Yeah, and I point out that the laws that we currently have in place were passed by Republican legislatures 30 years ago. In the entire time since, we have never had a Democratic majority in either house of the legislature. No one complained about these rules until one particular sect of political class, these MAGA politicians, started losing elections. Republicans built these rules. Democrats didn't do it. If you think yeah. the system is flawed, that's not my fault. It's not a Democratic politician's flawed. This is something that Americans, uh, that Arizonans did together without right. regard to party affiliation passed by Republican legislatures. Uh, Tim Stringham is joining us, a Democrat for Maricopa County recorder. So when people go and they vote, they're going to vote at home. They're going to vote, you know, they're going to go to the polls. So you're a Democrat. So how do you get Republicans to vote for you? How do you how do you do that? Because a lot of people are going to be like, oh, well, I don't really I don't, I don't oh, but, know these guys necessarily. Well, I'm a Republican. Let me just go with the R. How do you a Democrat get the R's to vote for you. What do you say? Yeah, when I was growing up, Republicans were the party of good government, small government, fiscal conservative government, the party that said that the government should be holden to the people. Voting by mail is cheaper. Right. It's easier for you to access. And if you are a citizen in this country, you should be able to hold your government accountable. It shouldn't be some Herculean task where you're trying to prove your mettle to have a chance to hold a politician accountable. My guarantee to every voter out there, regardless of partisan affiliation, is that I'm going to protect your right to vote, and we're not going to screw with the rules to try and affect the outcome. I will protect your right to vote, even if you disagree with me, even if you're going to vote me out of the office. And that is not a guarantee that Justin Heap can make. Tim Stringham is here. He's a Democrat running uh, for county recorder, and you have a lot of Republicans who are supporting you. Is that right? Yeah, we've we've got tons. We've we've had a, a bunch of Republican events where a bunch of Republicans come out. Now, at the same time, I am very aware that this is still a down ballot race. Not everybody's paying attention yeah. to the recorder race. Uh, I am very confident that if people tune into this race, we win. If people have questions about the election when you're a county recorder, I mean, are you going to have transparency? Are you going to be able to answer those questions? Are you going to be able to show facts and here's how we do it? I know Stephen Richard takes anybody who wants to on tours of the facility. Is that is that the kind of openness and transparency that you want to have if you win this election? Absolutely. And I love that you pointed out that so many of these things are already available. Folks, if you have not done so, you can reach out. To, they're busy now, right? We're in election season, but People are always able to tour the Maricopa County Tabulation and Election Center. Uh, I've taken the tour. I've taken it twice. The tour is available virtually online. You can see how the department runs. Uh, we, we have re reports telling you how the elections went, right? Uh, Stephen Richard takes every interview he can possibly get to answer these questions. He's very accessible on Twitter. And so, um, I, you know, I think we'll do things differently. He and I communicate differently, but we will communicate. We'll yeah. take those tough questions. And by the way... If you have concerns about the elections, that doesn't mean you're a conspiracy theorist, right. right? Like we have problems in our elections. Sometimes the booths don't open on time. Sometimes the printers don't work. And so if you have an actual concern about the election, yeah, I want to hear that. And that's something we want to try and improve constantly. I usually don't do this because uh, I don't like any politicians. You're a pretty impressive guy. Well, wow. I mean, the ba that's high praise. Uh, your backstory is, is impressive and you just seem like a no-nonsense guy and you don't want a whole lot of BS. You want to do your job. Um, you've served the country. Um, so, you know, it was good to get to know you. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right. Tim Stringham is a Democrat, Maricopa County recorder. And you can check him out online if you want. Tim Stringham, stringham.com. That's All right. it. All right. Thanks for watching Outspoken with Bruce and Gatos. Tap to watch more from KTAR News and click the button in the middle to subscribe.